Do you want to know how to calculate your insulin sensitivity? If so, then you're in luck. There's a very simple way of doing it. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how exactly to do so. My name is Louis, and I'm a type 1 diabetic of 25 years. And I'm here to make your diabetic life easier. One video at a time. It's another great day to be a diabetic. And why is that? It's because we need to educate ourselves in insulin sensitivity. Why is insulin sensitivity so important? The reason it's so important to know about your insulin sensitivity levels is because it takes the guesswork out of your day-to-day -day management, especially your food management. You might know how to count carbs, but if you don't know how to put that in relation to how your insulin on your body actually responds to insulin, then you're still going to do a lot of guesswork. And if you keep eyeballing it, you're never going to be in control of your diabetes. Your sensitivity tells you how sensitive you are to insulin at any given point during the day. And it does change throughout the day. It's one of the most frustrating things until you know about it, you control it, and you get to educate yourself on your insulin sensitivity. At that point, it's like this magical button just opens up and your diabetic management will become so much easier. I promise you this. So what do we need to do? One, we need to figure out how insulin sensitive we are. And two, we need to figure out how that sensitivity differs throughout the day. Also, real quick, if you enjoyed this content, please consider giving it a like, subscribing. It takes no longer than five seconds and then you can continue watching the video. I'm a small content creator with a huge passion for making type 1 and type 2 diabetics' lives easier by making their management as easy and as simple as possible. It would help me so, so much. That's all I'm going to ask. Let's get back to the video. To calculate our insulin sensitivity levels, we first need to figure out how insulin sensitive we are in the morning after we wake up. We want to stay fasted for this and we want our blood sugars to be under control. So when you wake up, you take your long acting insulin and you counter your dawn phenomenon. So the natural spike that occurs in the morning after you see a flat line for half an hour, an hour, then we consume exactly 10 grams of carbohydrates Raw carbohydrates, I would say refined sugar is really good. That's what I'm using in this video, as well as take one unit of rapid acting insulin. And then we wait three hours to see how it works. As you can see in my example, it works very, very well. I have a small spike and then it levels down approximately to the same level that I started at, telling me that 10 grams of raw carbohydrates will require one unit of insulin for my body. And then we do the same at nighttime before we go to bed. So either you can do this before dinner, if you have a flat line blood sugar from your lunch, or you can do it after dinner once you've gotten in control two to three hours after your dinner. So you know that most of your insulin is out of your system. You wait for the flat spike and then you do it again. And as you can see in my nightly example, where I did another test of 10 grams of carbs to one unit of Nova Rabbit, I went way too low. That's completely fine. That's a certain sign that my insulin sensitivity has changed. And what you do is you simply correct it with another 10 grams of sugar and weight. And if that's not enough, you go another 10 grams. It's important not to overcorrect here because we need to figure out exactly how many grams of carbohydrates you need for one unit of sugar. After I corrected with another 10 grams of carbohydrates, my blood sugar spiked a little bit and then went back to normal, just as planned. Now we have these two points of insulin sensitivity during specific times of the day. And now we can drag a line throughout the day that gives us a pretty accurate estimate of how our insulin sensitivity changes throughout the day. Of course, this differs based on your daily activity level, but now you have the tools to actually have a baseline of where, do, where are you in the morning, where are you midday, and where are you in the evening. As you can see from my example, I am 10 grams of carbohydrate to one unit of rapid acting insulin in the morning, and then I progress towards being 20 grams of carbohydrate for one unit of insulin during the evening. And that means during the midday, I'm approximately 15 grams of carbohydrate 
for one unit of insulin. And there you have it. Now you know exactly how insulin sensitive you are. And this is going to be a game changer for your diabetic management. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, give me a comment. How did you find? What can I improve on? What other topics would you like me to talk about? And please subscribe to the channel. It helps me way more than you know, and it keeps me on the path to making educational and entertaining diabetic content for all of you guys out there. See you in the next video.